Hi, my name is Jamie Curtis, and on this week's online video announcements, we will be doing the week of Monday, May 1st through Sunday, May 7th. On Monday, May 1st, we have the Algebra 1 EOC at the high school, and Teen Court is at 5 p.m. On Tuesday, we have a U.S. History EOC at the high school and an FFA plant sale at the greenhouse. On Wednesday, we have a Biology EOC at the high school, and the FFA plant sale continues. On Thursday, it's the last day of the plant sale at the greenhouse. We have We School Visits to East at 9.15 a.m. and there's Makeup EOC Day. On Friday, we have an FFA plant sale at Frontier Days and a Kindergarten Zoo Trip. We have EOC testing at the high school this week, which creates a different schedule for students. Also, there are special study sessions going on downstairs, so check the website for dates and times on that. Also, senior pictures are on Tuesday at 845 at the new gym and the football stadium, so check the details on the website. Also, baseball playoffs are next week, so we will keep you posted on that. Lastly, we have an interview with Ms. Smith about their Camp half flood, which she's going to tell us all about that. And we have an interview with Ms. Jennings about a special science lab they did. And we have a couple more seniors who are doing uh, Where You Headed interviews. Hey, Ms. Smith, will you tell us about Camp half flood? Camp Half-Blood is the sophomore version of a research paper. The sophomores do research on different gods, goddesses, and mythological creatures, and they use their knowledge to put on a Greek festival for the seventh graders. The seventh graders come over and they will play a game, a virtual game where they travel from booth to booth answering questions about various gods, goddesses, and mythological creatures. As they are going through this game. The we have the guest speakers that come in, or guests that come through, such as Medusa, who freezes them. Uh, we have a Minotaur this year, which is new from the last two years, and he will put them through their his own secret maze in order to trap them. Uh, it's a great time for the kids to learn and a lot of fun for everyone involved. Dual credit anatomy class has been studying the anatomy and physiology of the human body systems. And we have dissected fetal pigs in class so that they can see how all the systems work and function together. And we also used a fetal pig because they are used in CSI investigations. And, and the fetal pig has the body that is most similar to humans. Um, the reason they use pigs in CSI is so that they can find the uh, bullet pathway and the, the distance from the human body when they shoot can tell you how much damage may be done from the certain distance. Hi, my name is Jessica Sam Lucas. I'm a senior at Bergen Ridge High School and I have currently received my acceptance letter at Angela State University. I plan to major in biology and minor in administration and business. I'm also working on finishing up my paperwork to join the United States Marine Corps. And we'll see how that goes. I'm really going to miss uh, some good memories from Bergen Ridge High School. I've been involved in band for six years and also, I've been in plenty of different athletic events. I've run cross country. I've also participated in track and tennis. I played volleyball for two years. I will be meeting my brother at Angela State, and we will be attending school around the same time. But we will be majoring in different careers. What do you think about having your brother at the same university you're at? I think it's going to be a little bit weird, but I'm going to at least know somebody there, and it won't be very isolated and it'll kind of just remind me of high school we were in high school two years together well and eduardo's a really cool kid so <laughs> yes he's very sweet i really enjoy him and he's like my best friend well thank you jessica thank you hi my name is Haley robertson and i am a senior at breckenridge high school and i'm excited to report that i got my acceptance letter to texas tech university i have been going to breckenridge since kindergarten and I'm really going to miss all of my friends here. I'm going to miss showing, and I'm, but I'm really excited for my next journey.